Ever since their breakup, Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris have been taking not so subtle digs at each other and Taylor's latest move was the absolute last straw for her ex. You know all those rumors about Taylor Swift collaborating with her ex Calvin on his latest song? Well, her rep confirmed it's true, but he's not having it. At this point, everyone pretty much knows that Calvin isn't going to just sit back and take everything his ex is throwing at him. So when Taylor's rep confirmed to People Magazine that Taylor quote, wrote, this is what you came for, under the pseudonym Niall Sojberg, just days after many EDM blogs speculated that Calvin and Rihanna's song is on its way to being certified platinum in the US, Calvin decided it was time to let the world know his side of the story. The DJ went on Twitter to also confirm the story by quoting the People Magazine tweet and wrote, and she sings on a little bit of it too, amazing lyric writer, and she smashed it as usual. After that, all hell broke loose. Calvin went on a multi-tweet rant about the whole situation and said, I wrote the music, produced the song, arranged it and cut the vocals though, and initially she wanted to keep it a secret, hence the pseudonym. Hurtful to me at this point that her and her team would go so far out of their way to try to make me look bad at this stage though. I figure if you're happy in your new relationship, you should focus on that instead of trying to tear your ex BF down for something to do. I know you're off tour and you need someone new to try and bury like Katie, etc. But I'm not that guy. Sorry, I won't allow it. Please focus on the positive aspects of your life. The DJ then ended his Twitter rant by tweeting, quote, God bless everyone. Have a beautiful day. Even though the news of all this bickering over a song they wrote together is coming out now, TMZ reported that the drama over This Is What You Came For was actually the very thing that ultimately caused Calvin and Taylor to ultimately break up. It all started when Calvin was promoting the song on Ryan Seacrest's radio show and basically told Ryan that he couldn't see himself working with Taylor on a song. You know, we haven't even spoken about it. Yeah? I can't see it happening though. You cannot? No. TMZ was told that Taylor was hurt by Calvin's words and a source told the outlet that it was, quote, the breaking point in the relationship. Well, it doesn't sound like this whole Taylor and Calvin feud will be ending anytime soon. So what do you make of all this? Are you Team Calvin or Team Taylor? Let me know in the comment section below. When you're done with that, click right over here to watch the latest round of diss track featuring 1D and Zayn. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Misty Kingma. And before you go, click to the left to check out the dream celebrity couples we want together on Debatable and over to the right for Kylie Jenner, Taylor Swift, and Gigi Hadid's style face-off on Dirty Laundry.